Welcome back to Talk Pittsburgh on this final day of Men's Health Month. We're telling you how a small business owner is giving guys the tools they need for grooming and self-care. Joining me here is the co-founder and CEO of Grizzled Teddy Company, Donovan Daniel. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me, Heather. So you started this company with your wife. Yes. Who's waiting in the wings, taking pictures and sitting here. But how did you guys come up with this concept? Believe it or not, it was after a barbershop experience uh, when I was traveling. And a barber told me I had split ends and breakage in my beard. I didn't know men could have split ends and breakage. I didn't know that either. It was something I learned that anybody <laughs> with hair could have split ends. Yeah. And so the barber took me through a beard treatment where they washed, conditioned, steamed, blow dried, picked, sheared, and shaped up my beard. Wow. And I went in not realizing I had split ends, but I walked out having a spa-like experience. That's wonderful. I thought it'd be great if I could replicate that for other men. Yeah. If we had products and merchandise and maybe eventually suggestions we could make about how men can take better care of themselves so that they can groom their hearts, minds, and beards, that'd be great. That's wonderful. Is it hard though going from that initial experience to actually seeing it come out in a bottle? It's very hard. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard. We spent lots of hours on Google looking up different blend combinations and making sure that we had something that wasn't going to affect people's skin. Um, and it, we came up with something really special. And so what was, yeah, what was important to you in creating this line? It was probably smell, like you wanted to smell great, great and fresh and clean. Believe it or not, the thing that was most important for me was the base of the oil. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that I picked oils that weren't overly greasy because people want to moisturize their skin and protect their largest organ, right? right. But at the same token, they don't want to have a greasy and shiny feel, right? And so we picked oils that were lower on, this is a fancy word, but the cometogenic scale. Okay, right. tell me more about this. Yeah, so oils are rated, <laughs> oils and butters are rated from zero to five. And so zero, they're less greasy and they're not gonna seal your skin the same way. Fives are a bit heavier, your shea butters and your cocoa butters. We went with oils that were lighter or lower on that scale so that people could use them if they had dry skin or combination skin. Oh, so. wonderful. Okay, yeah. so um, we have a couple of the products here. Absolutely. And so, so tell me what these are. So this is our moisturizer and it could be applied to your hand, your cuticles, and your face, right? And both men and women can use it, but we primarily target men. So we'll have you try it today. The base is grapeseed and jojoba oils. You're probably familiar with those in some of your other products. Right. And the scent for this one is grapefruit, lavender, and cedar wood. So I'll have you rub that in your hand. Okay. We usually want people to warm it up a little bit and then give it a good smell. I can already smell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the grapefruit, wow. lavender, and cedar would work together so well. It smells warm and it's it's masculine, but like not overly so. Correct. It's not, wow, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, It's thank really you. great. Now, I don't know if I can, can I smell the other one? You can. What we're going to do is, since you touched both hands, we're going to use your wrist. Oh, I guess I probably right? wasn't supposed no, to No, you're <laughs> fine. You're fine. You're not my first sampler. Okay. All right. So if you want to put your wrist together, you're going to smell spearmint, tea tree, and lang lang. It's a slightly different experience. Wow. And again, you get that spearmint, so it smells fresh and yeah. clean. And where can people find your products? Where are you selling these? Well, we sell them at vendor shows all around the region. And so uh, over the course of this year, we'll be at I Made It Market, which is all over Pittsburgh. We'll be at the Green Greensburg Night Market, Ligonier Country Market, and a whole host of other things you can find on our website. And you also have some other products here. So it's not just the oils. What else do you Absolutely. sell? Absolutely. So we sell a moisturizer, again, for face, for hands, and for cuticles. We have wooden combs that allow you to apply the products, and they're porous, so they absorb the oils and butters and help you to distribute them evenly. We have a leave-in conditioner, and that's actually for beards. I have it in my beard right now. And then we sell merchandise that reinforces the message that men need to groom their hearts, their minds, and their beards. And over here, we have some of your other, and these are, are these some of your other oils that you Absolutely. offer? Absolutely. So there's two scented varieties, as well as an unscented option, if you want to mix it with your cologne. So if your husband has a favorite cologne, he can still use the moisturizer and not, you know, have them conflict. And which oil do you have in, you have the leave-in conditioner in I right use now? the leave-in conditioner and the facial moisturizer. I tend to go unscented just to, you know, not mess with any allergies. Uh, but my favorite, by far, is the original scent. It's the first thing we came up with, so it's my baby. I love this. I love this for me. Absolutely. And you have your shirt on too? Absolutely, yes. I love this. And do you have plans to open a brick and mortar? I know that you said this all, all yeah. started with your experience, your spa-like experience. Absolutely. So we're part of a brick and mortar already. Uh, and it's a really cool project. It's called Create and Curate. It's a vendor boutique in Indiana, PA. And there are 30 plus vendors, all small business owners, all creators. And uh, we're a part of that store. So that's our brick and mortar plans for now. But we are looking for some bulk uh, 
partners, some wholesale partners. I love this too. You're not from this area. You're from no. New Jersey, but you went to IUP and I did. never left. Never left. I work there now, so that's my full-time job. And I love ser serving students, particularly the young men, that I'm helping to reinforce these same messages. A lot of the clubs and organizations that I'm an advisor for, they're all doing the same thing of just reinforcing. Let's groom our hearts, our minds, maybe our study habits and our beards if you have one. I know there's a growing huge push for small businesses too in Indiana. Absolutely. You're part of that process. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you so much for having me, Heather. I love this. Stay Thank well. you.